Hey guys, welcome to question FM384 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. Now this question reads, a bakery sells delicious cheese and Vegemite scrolls for $1.70 each for the first 100 rolls each day. After that, the rolls get a little cold and the bakery adjusts their price to suit at $1.20. The revenue R in dollars made from selling N delicious cheese and Vegemite scrolls each day is given by this rule here. And essentially what this rule is telling us is that the revenue is equal to $1.70 times the number of rolls sold for the first 100 rolls. And after the 100th roll is sold, we move to this uh, value over here, or sorry, this equation over here, which means that the revenue is equal to 1.2 times the number of scrolls plus 50 for every value of n that is greater than 100. The cost C in dollars of making N delicious cheese and Vegemite scrolls each day is this 165 plus 0.2 times the number of cheese and Vegemite rolls. To break even, the number of delicious cheese and Vegemite rolls that the bakery needs to sell each day is what? Now, uh, we should sort of know that the break even point now is where our cost is equal to our revenue. Uh, in other words, there's there's no profit being made yet. It's the point right before where we would start seeing some profit. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to compare our cost and revenue equations. Uh, we're going to use the solve function to do this because it can make it much quicker. And we're going to try and find uh, a number of roles that make sense given the equation that we use. So this will make more sense in a second maybe. So what we're going to start off by doing is saying that we're going to solve uh, in fact, and all that down, I'm going to write down here instead. That might be a better spot. So first we're going to look at this first revenue equation, this 170N. So we're going to solve when a dollar seventy is equal to, so when our revenue, I've taken the revenue first, is equal to this cost. So 165 plus 0.2N, and of course we're going to solve that for N when we plug that into the calculator, we're gonna get a value here of n equals 110. Now, this is telling us that according to this formula, we'd need to sell 110 delicious cheese and Vegemite scrolls in order to break even. The problem with this is that this $1.70 per cheese, uh, oh, sorry, I should have put an n in here, my mistake. The reason, um, this doesn't work is because this revenue equation is only valid for values of n between 0 and 100. Uh, now we've got a value here of 110. If we sold 110 cheese and Vegemite scrolls, well then that's 10 cheese and Vegemite scrolls that should be following this revenue rule here, and they're not. So instead, we're going to try again, and this time we're going to solve the equation with our revenue equal to the second revenue equation, which is that one there. So 1.20n plus 50 is equal to, when is that equal to 165 plus 0.2n? At what value of n? Putting that into a calculator should tell us that when n is equal to 115. So when we sell 115 of these cheeses and Vegemite rolls, that's when our cost is equal to our Revenue according to this guy here. Now we've got an n value of 115 that fits in with the constraints we've been given to begin with So 115 is our correct answer Meaning that our final answer Is option B Let us know if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video